there are certain things that you should never, ever say to anybody at the Thanksgiving table, like, get it. <laughs> <laughs> like, but that's not a question. That's not a question. Well, it's not a question. It's just things you should never say oh. to others. And Jason Goodman is famous in this building yeah. mm. for any time there is any sort of food. doesn't mm -hmm. matter if it's the healthiest of the healthy. Mm. Every time you go to approach the table to fill up your plate, <laughs> he goes, Get it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so uh, annoying. Not in a bad way. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, sure. No, not oh, in a bad way. We don't okay. said it to me, Jason. I wonder why. <laughs> we don't believe you. <laughs> if you say get it, it's like get it because you're in your zone. Yeah, they are. Lies. 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 Having his fifth donut, I'm like, get, get it. Get it. Yeah. Get it. We he, all know what you're doing. He we appears out of nowhere, too. I'll be in the hallway. I'm like, where's Jason? Oh, he's not even here today. <laughs> And then oh, all of a sudden, he comes through the tile of the, the ceiling. <laughs> Get it! <laughs> it sucks back up into the ceiling. My favorite, though, because sometimes we're so we're in our studio, right? And then just outside of the studio is sometimes where we will set up a table, and it will be the you know Friday morning live breakfast, or if somebody comes and brings lunch, whatever. One time, Jared left the studio. Jason was still in here, and Jared went to go take a donut, whatever it was, and Jason. Banged on the window. Jared turned around. And he goes, "Get it!" <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I'm getting it. It's not stopping me. <laughs> it's Left the room. To, yeah, it's so <laughs> right. I thought you were safe. Yeah, I thought I was safe. <laughs> mm -hmm. Never safe. But he's also nope. don't say that to people, okay? No, or yeah. say, "Are you going to eat?" Oh, you're yeah. not going to eat all that, are you? Don't say that. Just don't, don't judge what other people are putting on their plates. Yeah, quiet. Keep to yourself. This year, my um, aunt and nephews aren't coming over, and uncle. Oh. Um, I'm not sure if there's a reason why they're not, but typically we get into a major political argument. Mm. Nice. Funny you should say that That's because strong. <laughs> <strength> <laughs> high on the list of things you should never say to anybody is who you're voting for. Really? Yeah. yeah. That's a people fun one. don't like it. I mean, unless you know that people enjoy talking politics and that it does not make them uncomfortable, you should never broach I'm that subject. I'm shocked because, like, even in Rhode Island, when I live in Rhode Island, every single time we had a family dinner for a holiday, especially Thanksgiving, mm -hmm. every time, every time, 90% of the co um, conversation was politics talking. Mm. Well, then Jason this year gets to break out his DeSantis decorations. Oh, it's been boy. Trump for so many years, but now mm -hmm. he's DeSantis. Well, you know, you got to uh, gear up for 2024. Uh, that's exciting, the turkey and all that stuff. Maybe that's why his friends and family aren't coming. <laughs> yeah, that's possible. He, he says, of... get it, <laughs> right. every time they're filling their plates. Right. And then he's like, get it, DeSantis. <laughs> that, well, that family is different. They're, they're broken within themselves. They what have does different that mean? Different views within themselves. Oh, broken? Yeah. They're broken emotionally broken. Within broken. Themselves. <laughs> yeah. they, have, they have different opinions? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why no one would want to spend the holidays with you. <laughs> or any day for that matter. You coming still. over or are you going to stay home broken? <laughs> <laughs> Jason has okay. his Florida napkins. He's, I mean, it's all it's yeah. pretty neat, actually. Well, I know at our Thanksgiving, if it's just like our immediate family, if it does come up, it's because we all agree Agreed. politically. If we had in-laws from, like, Michigan, uh -huh. we just wouldn't bring it up. You just don't say it. Right. It makes people feel uncomfortable right. if the, if you know it's going to lead to some sort of heated debate. And well, I would it, like, why? Because you, you want to see their – when I do it, I'm trying to get their take to understand where they're coming from. You, no, you're, you but only then like you're like it. down and you're cry not. and run the other direction. <laughs> yeah. 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 You're, yeah. Not. you're not. Yeah. You're not. You are such a liar. That's true. <laughs> they such they a do. liar. They can't take what it any longer. What you want to know <laughs> is if they agree with you, they can stay. Right. And no. if they don't, out they go. No, yeah. I, I just want to get their perspective of why, what they're thinking and why and try okay. to understand. To quote a movie that's getting ready to be played because of the holiday Just spirit, you sit on a throne of lies right now. <laughs> <laughs> I don't believe anything you've said you so really far. You really do. <laughs> no, I mean, deep down inside, I'm like, I can't believe they think that way, but I'm just trying to understand it mm. and embrace it for the time about why they're so you wrong. Ever thought that maybe, <laughs> you ever thought that maybe they're thinking the same thing about you? Yeah, pr uh -huh. probably, but I don't pout and eh, I can't take it. You are the biggest powder <laughs> anyone has <laughs> ever met. Not when it comes to that. Oh, yeah. really? Only yeah. song pop. <laughs> Things that really matter. Yeah. Right. Uh, yeah. <laughs> right. right. Okay. Mm. Other things you should never say to people around your Thanksgiving table, and this I'm just going to kind of lump all together, but it's the when are you going to meet someone? When are you going to uh, get yeah. engaged? Mm -hmm. When are you going to get married? When are you going to have kids? Stop. When are you going to have another kid? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's always just, the it's next It's always thing. something. Mm -hmm. And I do, because I always had a big problem with that because it was just like, I don't know. I'm just trying to figure it out. Like, I don't, it's, uh, you know, yeah. but. Jared one time said to me, I think people are trying to be kind. They are. But here's the thing. They're trying, they to, they're trying, to, show they're trying to show an interest, but it's only ever really comfortable when you're in a great spot.
Because if you right. imagine if you're freshly divorced or you're going through a separation or you can't get pregnant or you just broke up, it's like, right. I don't want to talk about this. Squid, at your you know family I mean? get-togethers, do they ask you when you're going to find Mrs. Wright? Uh, not really. My dad might occasionally ask. Really? But, yeah, but just... I don't know, because my parents got married, like, early on. They mm-hmm. were, like, young. So I feel like it's a little weird for them that I'm, I guess, in my mid-20s. Well, and but so. they're not together anymore. Well, no, they're not. So. No, no. But that was, like, late. But yeah. um, I don't know. Yeah, they. I think they are, like, they show a little concern, mm-hmm. but they don't, they're not, like, they're not too pressing. that it's but, not going to happen for you ever? Um, That I'm just never going to want to do it. Well, oh. want to settle down. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. But because mainly like my, I said my dad and my grandma maybe are the ones, and my, my, my they all do. But yeah, <laughs> they, they <laughs> always like do. asking. Yeah, uh-huh. do they ever ask like about like your STDs and are cleared up or is that all? Um, limits? Well, I've never had STDs, but they uh, what they all say mm-hmm. they, they don't worry about that because mm-hmm. they don't need to worry about that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. So they don't ask. They yeah. just don't ask anymore. Uh-huh. And every time, <laughs> I mean, if my mom's listening, every time Jared says something about me getting STDs, my mom texts me. She's like, Jared's such a bastard. Jared's such a bastard. <laughs> I'm going to show up here Thanksgiving jerk. with like a STD test and just <laughs> drop it off. <laughs> hey, you let this at work. <laughs> we got the results. Other things you should not say to people around your Thanksgiving table. You gained weight? Oh, yeah. Gained when, a little bit of weight. When should you ever say that? You shouldn't. Should never. But I think you... that it's nice to remind your grandmother or your nosy aunt or maybe a dad who's not so kind. You say, don't, you just shouldn't. You it's just have a nice reminder. It's always the older relatives. It's they don't always, care. They don't. No, they're like, yeah. oh, you're getting fat. Mm-hmm. And you're like, oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> You know, you're not while your face is stuffed with <laughs> pecan pie. <laughs> Get it. Because it is. It's the older ones or like, yeah, the ones who mm. who just feel like they can say whatever they want. Meanwhile, you're like, listen, you geriatric SOB. Yeah. I, you know, you right. can't Katie, say that this time when you're going for your thirds, I want yeah. you to think of me. Get it. Get it. Get it. <laughs> I got to go slow, though, because what happens is. I drink a lot of wine, mm-hmm. and then I stuff my face, oh. and then I am so full I can't live. Oh. So I need mm-hmm. to like regulate somewhere. Mm-hmm. I don't know where. The, the, the wine, wine drinking, the wine. maybe. Yeah. I don't know. The wine is doing it. Yeah, but it's just you know, I'm not hosting. So mm-hmm. what else am I supposed to do? Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. If I was hosting, I'd be very busy, and the wine drinking would be slower. Just enjoy. Just stuff your face. <laughs> I don't, yeah. I don't want to be busy, you know? I want to be cooking something. But anyway. uh, And then finally, something else you should never find. One other thing you should never, ever say to somebody. You vaccinated? That's that's (laughs) only recently. Uh, I guess maybe now it would be boosted. You boosted. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's like goes into the politics It's like kind of going the Mm -hmm. other way now where it's like before people would just straight up ask you. Yeah. And now people don't ask you. And then almost it's going the other way. Like, oh, you are vaccinated? Like it was like you weren't vaccinated. People look down on you. Now you are vaccinated. There's like a growing... You look down on you. Oh, so you I don't can't know that one way. yet. I don't oh, know that yeah. one. Yeah. No. There's new studies coming out about like heart problems, all this stuff. Mm. Yeah. Maybe on Truth Social, but yeah, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've never had that experience. Yeah, yeah. yeah. ever. A, there is a growing like people are saying, ah, we were right because there's things coming out about like like you're talking about women not having periods or, or like irregular, and they well, think it's COVID. Yeah, or, I mean uh, that wouldn't stop me. Related. That wouldn't no, I'm stop just me saying, from pe- these. Are what people are saying. Uh, there's um, heart. Um, Problems like in the UK are up like fifty percent since vaccines. There's oh. infertility is way up since vaccines. So people are saying people who were anti-vaxxers like, look, even if it's not related, they're saying, look, mm. give me another one. Yeah, I'm not Thanks on. I'm not on that side. Jason's a sheep. I will tell you. Do you say he's a sheep? Sheep. What is always happening give me another to you? One. He's had yes. like six of them. You <laughs> sell like six of them. <laughs> you I just four. got the Omicron one, the one that's against. Omicron. He would take infertility's wise. Jason's getting it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you don't hear about COVID. Yeah. Uh, and I do feel like that sometimes, though. I will say, you know how there's always a stigma about people and people are against the flu, um, COVID shot and for the. I have seen that now with the flu shot a little bit. Where yeah. Oh, you're, I don't get shots when you're talking about the flu shot. And oh, the yeah. flu shot was never kind of maybe a little bit of a stigma like the COVID shot. Glad I got the flu shot because I didn't get the flu mm-hmm. and Landon basically spit in my face one time coughing mm. and he had the flu. Never yeah. got the flu. We think you did have the flu. You had something. And you brought it in, but oh, yeah. you said you didn't have it that bad. When you were spitting I in the trash I couldn't feel can. one thing. The only thing I had is some mucus coming up, but that's it. You're- we had to witness you spit your mucus into the trash can for weeks. Yeah. Yeah, but there's- <laughs> still are. I have no- yeah, a little bit. <laughs> but I-, I had no other feeling of anything. And mm. if that stopped the flu... <laughs> I'll get that every year. Or get, lessened it, yeah. yeah. Did you get tested for the flu? I didn't. Oh. 
He didn't get tested for COVID either. Yeah. So if no. you don't, you don't get tested. You don't know. <laughs> he had I've all been tested <laughs> tons of times. <laughs> have you? Don't get tested. You oh, don't oh. have it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> we were all under the under impression that you did not get tested for COVID. I've been tested mm-hmm. for COVID tons of times, and I told you even before I even got the twice uh-huh. the um, antibodies test. Uh. Yeah, keep I, saying it. We haven't seen the I documentation. Know we haven't. I've showed you a COVID test in my trash just the other day. Well, uh, it could have been anybody's. Yeah, okay, you can well, Google I'll right bet now. you any amount of money possible that I can get you the evidence. Okay, that I the, had the antibody. Bet me. No, I mean I want to see it. Mm-hmm. You can doctor that stuff easy. And people he knows. Yeah. Oh, we, you, you, if you bet me money, I walk to Harris Teeter and get the printout. With so you me. mean you don't have antibodies for it? But you've been vaxxed eight times. Well, I didn't after oh, the vaccine. Point. After the vaccine, we Whoa, I didn't get the. Whoa! Holding the story here. I was just asking. <laughs> After I got the vaccine, I didn't get the antibody's test. This oh, okay. was going on oh. during it because I'm like, how Whoa. could I not have it? How can I not have it? Remember when, it, when yeah. all you guys had it? Mm-hmm. And this, you see why can you we don't... get our official attorney on? I want to <laughs> file a lawsuit against Jason. And do you see why you don't bring this kind of thing up when your friends and family are around? <laughs> this is how it goes. But it's factual. I didn't lie about anything. I did get two antibody tests, but I, that was timing. I guess you don't remember. That was before the test. You all got it. And I'm like, how did I not get yeah. it? How did I not get it? Mm-hmm. So I got mm-hmm. b- twice antibody um, tests that showed that I still never had it, even though everybody in this room got it. Wow. Can somebody pass the mashed potato and gravy, please? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, and then also you talk about how the, there has been a, I'm not saying a, a seismical or a, a monumental shift, but there's a shift of people saying, I don't know. But the mask thing is hilarious to me because Why? people, we, everyone in this room judge people when they weren't wearing a mask. And now we see people wear, with a mask, we're like, why are you wearing a mask? Oh, I don't care if people wear a mask. I told you my reasoning behind that is because but I we, think it's for them, not me. Yeah, but we've seen people. We've all seen people like they're still wearing a mask, or if, if oh, you're asking you know, to put a mask on, I like really? I don't. Mm-mm. I why, told, yeah. told you why, and but I stand I, by that. In society right now, it's, if you see someone wearing a mask, most people are like, "Why are they wearing a mask?" I don't even think twice about it. It's I, just so I, commonplace I, at this I point. I do, especially when I see them outside with, with the mask or walking driving by, the car themselves. by themselves. But it's for, maybe for them. For it, it, them. There are certain circumstances that you need of to wear course. a mask if you're, you know, if you could be going through cancer treatment. Yes, and you're autoimmune. I will say this though about the mask, and I don't know if this is related or not, but I will say. We had no flu last year, nothing. None. And yeah. now mm-hmm. it's one of the worst flu seasons in 50 years, and it may be because mm-hmm. we weren't building up our immunities with all the masks on. Is it possible? Maybe. Or maybe or not spreading it. We weren't out as much. Maybe right, but, but I'm saying now look how bad it is all no, of a That's sudden. what I'm saying. I mean, we're or, not wearing them anymore. Or, but it's yeah. worse than before. And the same with allergies. But it's worse than before when we didn't wear a mask, meaning – the years that we didn't have masks, if you compare it to the to this year when we weren't aren't wearing masks, it's way worse this year than it has in previous years when we were just as spreading it just as easy. Or is it possible they're lumping some flu stuff in with COVID? Like, that's COVID. I think Maybe. also our mm-hmm. immunity systems were getting depleted by lockdowns and not being next to people. So right. You, your body needs this to, to, to learn how to fight off mm-hmm. diseases and infections and stuff like that on its own. That's all my body does is fighting stuff left and right. <laughs> it's, a, it's a daily battle. Every day. <laughs> Losing Stairs, every struggle. Stairs. Standing up. <laughs> Even walking. Sitting a certain way can be yeah, sure. pretty difficult. Sleeping. Yeah. Right. Causes me I problems. Turnovers, I'm like, oh, oh, trying to turn over. <laughs> yeah, I do want the mashed potatoes, Katie. Me yes. too. Don't, don't bring up any of this stuff. Uh-huh. Unless you just want to be Please a jerk don't. on Thanksgiving. Just for fun. <laughs> just be prepared for people to walk out. Right. They're like, I got my plate. See you I'm later. Out. More for me. 